Well, hello everyone, Smith here. Welcome to another Jurassic Craft tutorial. Today, we're just going to look at one aspect of the new update for 1.94 and 1.10.2. We're in 1.10.2 today, and we're going to show you how to get from these lovely fossils over here how to find them, where to find them, and then how to use these machines. You need all of these machines to get to getting a Triceratops, uh, Triceratops or other dinosaur, and we're over in our, uh, ooh, got an Enderman visiting. Yeah, we got our, uh, where we showed our showcase here, we've got all sorts of uh, things wandering around here anyway. Uh, less to that, let's get back to the job. Well, first of all, where do we actually find all these fossils? And let's just go and have a look at them. Now in the game, there are a number of fossils to find. There are a number of different types of fossil block. Now, I've put the Jurassic fossil and the Cretaceous fossil down. You can see the sl I don't think there's much difference in it, but they are named. And let me show you uh, in terms of these blocks. Yeah, so these fossil blocks here, we've got various types. We've got these Cretaceous fossil, Jurassic fossil, Jurassic fossil, Cretaceous, Cretaceous fossil, Cretaceous and Cretaceous. They're all different. Uh, now, where can we find them? There's four different types here. Even though you might not be able to tell the difference. Well, you'll have to go caving, caving for lots. There's also these birds' nests or nests fossil blocks as well so uh, down here let's go and show you we have got if I'm correct right down here you can find the gypsum and that we haven't found any fossil blocks yet we'll carry on going down here maybe not down here there we go right we found a ravine here which I've lit up Ray, right, there's our first fossil block down here see lots and lots of fossil blocks here and here and here and uh, so you're going to have to do a bit of caving and a bit of mining. Uh, not as many as the last update. I feel that they could have put a few more fossils in because it's going to take an arduous time to go and find them. But as you notice them here, the first fossils are down sort of 20 box below and then they go right down here. You'll find them everywhere along this particular area. There's some more here. Look, there they are uh, mixed in with the other blocks. And the only thing I haven't been able to find, even though we can go right down here to the base, and we haven't found any amber ore. So you can also find amber ore. There's two types of amber, which we'll show you afterwards. But I've had a look around for it. It's as rare as diamonds when you actually dig down. So you're going to have to have a bit of a strip mine going to find the amber. The amber is most precious. Uh, we've got some there. We've got some... Uh, emeralds there and I was looking to see where there's some more Ooh, weird things there. Hey, there you go. Uh, so that's where you find them. Right, what we're going to do is I'm going to take you uh, back to the surface and we're going to show you once you find uh, some fossil blocks how you're actually going to mine them. Right, so we're back up here. So what you need is an iron or diamond pick. We've got a nice diamond pick here. The other thing you need to create, and I'm not going to go into any uh, uh, recipes or anything, but you will need some plaster and bandage. That's because in the new Jurassic Craft, to get from here to here is quite an experience, to say the least, in, uh, in the normal thing. So let me just go and put myself to game mode. There we go. So when we're here, if I do this, this is what happens. Huh? It disappears. So you can't do that. Oh, of course, we're in 1.10, so we've got this walking thing. Look at this. It's cool, isn't it? Walking. So what you've got to do is you've got to use the plaster of bandage. And you right click, and then it's almost like you would do a normal fossil, which is you literally do this with a bandage, like so. And you can do it with all of them, like so. We're not going to dig them all up, but I'm just going to show you how it works. It works on all the fossil blocks. Right, so what do we do then? Well, we have to men and mine it. So here we go. And we mine it and get the blocks, which are covered in bandage. And they're quite easy. They're not... As you can see, they're not too hard to mine, uh, like solid rock or anything. My skeleton's still over here. She's uh, he or she's been over here for a while. Uh, hey, shooting at me! Oh, I'm in survival. That wouldn't be very good, would it? Dying straight away. <laughs> right. 
so next up what do we do with our lovely lovely encased jurassic fossils so now we've had something to eat should be all right oh so now i've had something to eat we're all right right so what's next so now you've got the encased fossils you need to start with the cleansing station because like in real world you have to cleanse the uh, fossils now what you do need is we'll put the plaster in there because we don't need any more is you need some water because what happens is you put the water into the bottom slot and then put your fossils in top now there are as i said there are four different types of these so you can stack you have to see which ones are stack as they come out but you can see what happens now is you now oh look a brachiosaurus neck vertebrae so it's very similar principle is you get the fossil and you take out the bone out from the rock really and that's what that is cleansing station so you get a brachiosaurus skull right so what i do is i'll just place these back in here because i don't need those anymore so next thing you've got to take the bones and you've got to put them in the fossil grinder so let me just show you, you can put up to six different types of bones in here uh, and you can see when we have a look at it, let's go and put some of these i've got some ready here it will take ages to go mine these of course we'll put some of those in here and what happens is the fossil grinder will grind the fossils and then we'll create the soft tissues now you need to then be able to extract the DNA from the soft tissues so you can see it takes time so it's what's good I like the fact is you can put like six different items in so if you're mining uh, and then you use look at this it's all, oh it looks like an alien uh, you'll see all this it only has six slots I'd like to have a few more but then you can put these in and just wet them wait that happens you also get uh, like you used to you get bone meal and flint and all sorts of other rubbish as well so let's take these out of here there you go it's a flint so the next process is and look at these cool machines they are so good aren't they is this this is one of the coolest machines in the lock because i've got to show you this uh, you need a dna sequencer so you've got this tissue which we've done here have we got any more velociraptor yeah there we go there you go and then you need an empty storage disk uh, as it says it needs to store the dna right so let's go and get that so you can see the three trays in here so it means you can put three different types uh, of dna uh, of soft tissue into there put t-rex and we'll put triceratops and then we can just uh, split this up like that and then you have to wait uh, until you can see it starts and the DNA sequencer will then give you uh, the products at the end so what we'll do is I'll just show you as well look it's all oh, it's in there as well see the different types of meat look at that it's actually sitting in there it's hovering in there that is really cool really impressive what we could though imagine this like Imagine this gets to flashing but the, the detail that the guys in Jurassic Craft have done this so it's even got a keyboard and and slots and stuff uh, I like this because you can hop up right so you can see the sequencer so what we'll do is we'll wait for that to happen and we'll take to this machine which is called the DNA extractor now we said that we would mine uh, for fossils and also you will find amber uh, or now out of the amber ore comes two things oh, I'll just have a look at this get this over here we get the mosquito in amber and we get the aphid in amber now I am I'm not looking at uh, plants the aphid the aphid one is the plant side not being a separate video so we're only interested in the mosquito amber so this while we're waiting because we're still waiting for that oh nearly there uh, if you put uh, the amber into there and then put empty storage disk that this machine will also create uh, the DNA from the amber the major differences as you will see is this DNA is going to be a certain percentage let's see what happens yay now if I'm right uh, it will it will carry on doing the discs or does it no you have to actually that's it you have to extract the disc out of there and then it should start again uh, right so we got a storage disc that's 10 percent tyrannosaurus 55 percent triceratops and five percent dilo not very good <laughs> so we're going to leave that to hyper away let's come and have a look at this one look at this the amber's actually in the machine hey 
Right, so uh, we haven't gotten it yet. This takes quite a bit longer. If you think now, you are going to get 100% uh, DNA out of this. Uh, and that's the advantage of amber. But as I told you, it's like diamond ore. It'd be very rare to find. So you've got to think about setting up a diamond mine to get diamonds. And also in the process, you might be able to get some amber ore in your uh, strip mine. I would advise you to go strip mining. If you don't know what that is, go and look it up. And that's the most economic way of mining in Minecraft. Right, come on. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Do we get 100%? Yes, the first 100% DNA, and we get Triceratops. And look, that's got four slots, and it's just a lovely jabbly. Okie doke. Right, let's go back to this. So, we're nearly ready to get some more discs. We'll see what we get in terms of percentage wise. Oh, Tyrannosaurus 40. <gasps> oh, not enough. Right, let's just. The only trouble is each disc is separate. So let's go down to the next machine. So this is the DNA combinator. The combinator is used for joining together the discs. Now this is a T-Rex which is 40% and 10%. Uh, oh, the light, did it come on? I think the light came on. Now I can't remember. Yes, it's working. So you can even join, if you get like join together 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. So this should create a 50% uh, for the combinator. And you can imagine having a right load of disks with uh, different stuff on as you do. Right, let's go in there. That is a very slow machine. This one here is much quicker as you can see. Right, let's just uh, put that in there like that. So we don't. I'm not going to do any more with that. We're just going to check that. In. That's a dilo. For, uh, let's try Ceratops. Dilo, and we haven't got one that's exactly. Oh, there's the Triceratops. We need that. That's a hundred percent. So it brings us neatly on to the DNA synthesizer. Now, luckily, you you need to get some extra bits in here, so we can put the storage disk in there, and then we will get this. And you need some DA nucleotides. And you need some empty test tubes to go in this particular bit. Oh, no, 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 no. That was not supposed to happen. Of course, forgot I was in uh, uh, survival there. Right, come back to this. Uh, so, we had the nucleotides, which go into this slot here, and we had the empty test tubes. And what happens then, this DNA synthesizer will now make... Oh, God, dear. <laughs> oh, it's good to have a bit of survival. I haven't played survival in years. Anyway, be careful in the dark. So this is the DNA synthesizer. It's working away. We're going to have a look at the other machines as well. We've got nothing in the... Co oh, Combinator now made me a 50% disc, which I said it would. we got a Brachiosaurus. <laughs> Triceratops. So see the amber produces different dinosaurs. This one, 25. Right, so we're getting... Oop, that one there. We're getting some more Tyrannosaurus. Oh, there's a Tyrannosaurus 30%. So you can keep uh, swapping your discs. There's the 50 and the Triceratops. wonder if we've got enough. That's a Dilo, Dilo, Triceratops. Oh, yes, we have two triceratops let's join those two together because we can have a full one there so we put the 55 in there and the 65 there you go so that will now create that let's come past it we went through that one we have got our first triceratops dna uh, so that is really really cool let's bring that back in there so we've got our first dna we've got two triceratops dna now which is excellent we're nearly there now this is the embryonic machine doesn't show you what you should have in there however I know that you need to have an empty syringe and a petri dish and then you can put the uh, DNA in and you see I've selected it in the right way because it doesn't tell you which slot to do so you have to put that one in there you put that in there and then the triceratops DNA and you can see this one is actually quite quick and the embryonic machine then makes your embryo syringe I think yes yeah, a triceratops syringe so this is now how we make uh, dino eggs 
how do you think we put the egg in it and then we need the embryo calcification machine so we need your commoner garden chicken eggs and you can see I got the triceratops tyrannosaurus let's just do this so all you have to do is put the triceratops syringe in there and then put the egg in there and then what happens fairly quickly this machine actually does the embryonic calcification so what we'll do is we'll create our first dino egg which is a triceratops egg and I'll just chuck those in there to make some T-Rexes so we then come to the final machine which I showed you in the last video which is the incubator uh, and that needs special care as we will find out so literally let's recap we use the find the fossil blocks do not use the pickaxe use the plaster uh, and once you've then finished with the plaster you need to mine the blocks which gives you these different types of encased Cretaceous and Jurassic fossil you then place them in the cleaning station the cleaning station gives you all these bones uh, then you take it to the fossil grinder and grind the bones down and it gives you different types of soft tissue as well as bone meal and flint then you take it to the DNA sequencer and you put the said tissue into there which then with the storage disk creates you some percentage uh, disks now if you have amber you put the amber in and you can see here whoa that's the first one now I always thought that the amber ore was 100% we've just proved that isn't the case anymore so a word of warning there so we do get 100 percenters uh, but not all the time then once you've got all your discs you then work out you just keep collecting these discs as you show here uh, and if you then find a uh, hundred percenter which I probably just threw away somewhere there's 75 there we haven't got any more hundred percenters no they're in here we then take them along to the DNA synthesizer and as you can see we're getting triceratops uh, DNA and then we move that along to this beautiful machine look it's all lit and it's got a petri dish in it and we are creating our no, we are creating our syringe so it goes to DNA syringe to the egg which is in this machine here oh look we've got a tyrannosaurus egg as well uh, one thing we need to do then is make the head egg hatchable which is why we need to put it in the incubator to make it ready to hatch that is quite an easy task uh, one thing of warning uh, yellow is female and red is male on the right if you put it somewhere in the center you've got an equal chance I really like this feature so left uh, and yellow is female right is male you can put up to five eggs in the incubator so we have got a triceratops egg there uh, we have a tyrannosaurus egg there and look uh, the two eggs are there can you see that yeah aren't they cool and you can swap them around we have also got a dilophosaurus here and a gallimimus that we've prepared and you need some fuel to heat it up and the fuel that you need is called peat moss which you need to go and find now i haven't actually had a look round to find where the peat moss is uh what i'll do just before the end of this video i'll go and have a quick look because i haven't found any peat moss yet so i'll have to work out how to do that but uh, you get the peat moss you then put that as a fuel and then you have to wait while your eggs incubate now some of them oh there's another one in there some do quite quickly but this machine works the secret is the peat moss and what will happen is uh, I've got this one if I bring this over here let's try and get a male triceratops uh, while we're away this will now the bar will start going up and, and heating up and then eventually once the bars all the way across to the right hand side it will be uh, literally working so we're going to leave that for a minute uh, what I'll do is have a quick look for peat moss uh, and see how abundant it is now the bars are going across here so we can put that peat moss in there so so guys uh, I've basically peat moss you have to go and find some moss and you need some peat now most of the native biomes are forest birch forest flower forest tiger mega tiger jungle and swampland so we're in the swampland and i've got myself two peat blocks which are these ones here oh there's one you need to mine these and you just pick them up with your hand uh, or other type of tool and you need those because you need to find some moss Whee! now i haven't found any moss yet because it's a slightly different shade to the rest so 
once I find some, and we're in quite a bit, and also some of the spawning flowers come in this particular biome as well. Oh, there's more peat. More peat there, but I haven't found the moss yet. So I'll have that, thanks very much. So, I'm going to have another look round, because I found that. We're looking for a patch. Oh, there's a witch hut. Don't want to go near there. Uh, yeah, we need to find that. So, once I find some, I'm going to show you what the peat moss looks like. So I haven't been looked around, peat moss is very very rare, so uh, this was a brand new world created in the Jurassic Craft, so here is the peat moss, it's like a, a tile that sits on top of it, so uh, I've not found any wild, so what we've done is we'll change back uh, to... Okay, so we're back to survival and what you need to do is just pick it there you go and you get the moss you need nine of these and once you've got enough you can then follow the wiki to make a peat moss block there we go which we'll put it onto the moss so yeah just a word of warning there it is quite uh, rare and I haven't found anybody in the wild yet so Jurassic Craft if you're watching uh, you may need to uh, increase the spawn rates. Oh, it's getting dark. Let's head back to base. So I upgraded to the latest version 202 and I found my first ever moss block in the wild. But they are really rare. So if you think uh, you are going to get loads of these, I think we may have a mistake at the moment. That is the first block I have found. And we're in a forest, so... Uh, I would say that uh, it needs to be uh, redone to be honest so we can get more of those moss blocks because just the odd one lying around would not be very good in terms of imagine getting all the way through the process and you can't change the block but uh, there we go I'm gonna head back now now I finally found one's been searching for oh it's a second one hurrah so remember you need a forest uh, and uh, yeah there we go right back to the base before we go back to base I have just recreated a brand new world in the new 202 update that came out yesterday or the day before and would you believe it I literally spawned here and just walked around here and here is one here so there's a single one there and then I literally yeah, I did it. Uh, there we go. There's another one. There's another one there. Another one there. And there's another one over here, which I found. And where it's gone, it was here. There was three which I found straight away. There's another one there. See? So, uh, just to show you guys that it looks like the uh, spawn rates are still small. Now, if you think there's another one there... Now, so this is the latest, latest Jurassic Craft, which uh, I said I would test for the guys, and it, it is there. So it can be found in the forests, but you still see that to get nine, you need nine of those to make one peat block. Uh, and I, and the only thing is, that's going to be quite a bit of searching. This is real, almost like a, it's going to be right survival. And as you as you go, collect everything you can. Is that another one there? No, it wasn't. But uh, just to show you, I'm just going to have a look at a different forest. There's one over here. Oh, there was a forest over there. But look what's over here. Just literally spawned in this world. An ice biome. Ice spike biome are right next uh, to the to this forest over here. Uh, so what I'm going to just do is look. Oh, and a village. Oh, wowzer. Uh, right. Okay, guys. I know you asked me for these. Uh, let me just see. We'll just show you what that is. Uh, let's go to the... Right, guys. There you go. There's the world seed for this world, if you would like it. It's got a village. It's got a forest. It's got an ice biome over here. So a good starter biome. Really good starter biome for uh, Jurassic Craft. And uh, it's got the mountains and stuff over here. So let's just go have a look at this woodland over here. This is well good in the plains. You could have a fantastic world there. So uh, if anybody does a world out of this, let me have a picture. Put me up, follow me on Twitter and just see if there's any more of these blocks over here and here. The swamp, there should be in the swamp as well. Let's go and have a quick look over here. Ah, the cool village or what? 
Hey, oh, and there's mines to go underneath as well. That'd be well cool. All right, let's just go over here a minute. Oh, look, there's even a, a big oak forest here. So there should be, and look at the big oak trees as well. What a good seed this is. I like this. Uh, oh, there's a ravine where you can go mining. Oh, wow. Uh, what a good seed to start your Jurassic Craft world off with. Uh, but we were looking for peat moss, weren't we? And uh, it should be in here. Maybe it's just hidden away underneath as it is. So, yeah, it is quite rare. We did see it in that one over there. Uh, I would expect to see it in here because it does say in all forest worlds. So imagine it's... Uh, I wonder if it... Uh, there's one. Look, there you go. There's another one there. So you're going to have to go hunting for your moss. Uh, so let's go back finally after doing that. And, uh, oh, there's another... Oh, cool. There's another tiger is that tiger and beach and sea wow what a world right let's head back to our other world then anyhow once you find your peat moss uh, you can then pick the peat moss and just literally put it into a block which gives you a peat moss block finally yeah super duper so i just want to have a look at that anyway we should have some hatched oh yes nearly just in time so what will happen is that once the uh, egg gets to the end of the bar it will change its color and will be called a hatched egg so it won't be long and when we got a hatched egg we will finish off so we have our first two hatched gallimimus and a hatched dilophosaurus uh, these are nearly ready so let's go and put them up on here now oh what are you doing here Hello, you shouldn't be here anyway. Uh, we're going to go and put them on the top. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. We'll put them over here. So, let's just change back. So, uh, remember that once you hatch an egg, it will be tamed. So let's try, apart from the fact that both of these will, Gallimimus. I don't think the Gallimimus will be tamed. So we place it down, and there's our Gallimimus. Tamed, yes, I've tamed a Gallimimus. So our little Gallimimus, you've got to put these, I love that, it sinks in the snow. Uh, you make sure you uh, put them in a pen, first of all, because they'll run off. Hey, I can actually command it to follow me. There you go. So let's go and get my Gallimimus for it. Runs off forever. It's going, it's going, it's going. <laughs> Look how fast it's going. Oh, whoa, whoa, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, follow me. <laughs> so the uh, Dilophosaurus there. So that's how you get dinosaurs from start to finish. It is, if in survival, I reckon it will take you quite a long time. I'm not going down there because that'll blow me up. Because you have to go through all those steps to get your first dinosaur. So it's going to be quite a quite a thing to do in survival mode. So uh, thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Oh, hello. This is how you get one of these lovely dinos. Uh, thanks very much for watching indeed. Please like, please sub, and we'll be back with another tutorial or Jurassic Park video very soon.